Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. A lot to get to today, so here we go. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to see the questions or not because my phone. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get right to it as we got a lot going on here in weather. All right, we're going to start off with the radar. The storm system that's been in our area overnight is um, still in our area, but becoming, as you can see, more spotty um, on the radar. And that will be the trend for the next couple of hours, too. By the way, this is the new radar display from the National Weather Service, uh, NOAA, the government, and it is horrendous. It is slow. The uh, levels, the color bank, I don't like. And then when you get something heavy, it covers over the cities and you can't see them. So wouldn't you know it, an improvement from the government gone south. Still winter weather advisory in effect for a couple of hours. And basically, I just want to show you there that the entire state is uh, covered with that winter weather advisory. All right, let's take a look at some of the observations here. And uh, what I'm noticing is uh, Detroit Metro now at 34 degrees with light rain. So the freezing rain has ended there. Kalamazoo, the freezing rain has ended, it looks like. Jackson has freezing rain, uh, 33 degrees. So still some freezing rain in the southern half of the state. But things will improve as we go through the morning hours. All right, so now here is our radar forecast. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, Lisa Robitaille. Hello, northern Wisconsin, about four inches, they're saying. All right, radar forecast, show you this morning the precipitation breaking down uh, as far as, you know, the amounts of precipitation around the area. And there you can see it. Uh, hold on a second here. Let me get a, let me get the right perspective for you. Okay, is it 2021 yet? <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is this morning, 8 o'clock, 9, 10, 11. What I want you to notice there is that the precipitation becoming more spotty and um, more mixed rather than all snow or all freezing rain, more mixed and temperatures will be warming up. Now we're at 1 o'clock this afternoon and it's basically over with. Maybe hanging on is some rain in the far southeast down in the Detroit area, maybe Ann Arbor and Monroe, uh, some rain showers this afternoon. But notice I said rain showers because probably most important thing we'll get to here in a second, temperatures. So here's the additional snowfall expected today. Not much after... Anywhere from two to as much as seven and a half inches around Macosta County, uh, but most places two, three, four inches of snow. Uh, now we're going to see probably less than an inch of additional accumulation in most places. All right, now here are the temperatures. This is probably the most important thing to show you here. Let's go to 10 o'clock in the morning. You're at 33 in Grand Rapids. You're at 34 in Lansing, 34 in Flint, 33 in Saginaw, Bay City. Uh, you're 35 in the Detroit area, Ann Arbor, 37 in Jackson. So 10 a.m. kind of is my magical number from oh, Flint to Grand Rapids southward. That's the area that will see the strong melting on the roadways uh, by 10 a.m. And then let's go to noon, up to 35 in Saginaw. So by noontime, the Tri-Cities Road should improve dramatically. Also the Thumb, also Grand Rapids at 35, 34 Mount Pleasant, roads improving there. Roads slow to improve from Cadillac northward, Traverse City, uh, Petoskey, Charlevoix, Sheboygan, and in the eastern part of the UP where you had some snow. And then far south, 40, 41-ish, Ann Arbor, Detroit, Jackson area. So you're really going to get a nice warm-up. So I would say the melt-off occurs up to about Claire and then southward. All right, now here's our model run. We know what's going to happen today. The precipitation ending, southern half of the state warming up, northern half slow to melt off. Now, next 
weather maker. So this is tomorrow morning and tomorrow during the day, it's dry. New Year's Eve right there, fairly light wind, dry. Hey, good morning, Randy Chapman from Corona and Donna Ebner from Lovells in Crawford County. Uh, Cheyenne Polizak says it's raining in Eaton Rapids. Thank you. That's a good report. That means we know that that warming line is lifting northward. So here's Friday morning, 7 a.m. Here's Friday, 1 p.m. Precipitation just starting in the south. And then here's Friday. This is New Year's Eve, basically, 7 p.m. You got freezing rain in the southern third of the state, snow on the northern fringes. And then through the night, Friday night, uh, New Year's, we've got uh, freezing rain. This will be Saturday morning, 1 a.m. Sorry, <laughs> I was off a day. New Year's, New Year's Day, we have the precipitation starting, not New Year's Eve. I'm sorry. 2021, please. Um, so this is Saturday morning and the precipitation comes to an end. So right now it looks like we're gonna have another mess on the way. Just give you a couple of quickies on that one. Uh, this is the US model. I wanted to show you the difference. This is New Year's Eve, so still dry. This is New Year's Day. This is 10 in the morning and one in the afternoon. And so same motif and a freezing rain, but about three hours earlier on that. Uh, that kind of storm system would not be a major snowstorm because it would have too much precip in the liquid form uh, first. Now, how much freezing rain? Here is uh, one model forecast, first one that we looked at. And it's calling for about a tenth to three tenths of an inch of a shot of freezing rain. That would be Friday night, early Saturday morning on January 2nd. And as it lifts north, it would kind of dissipate some. And remember, you probably will melt off in the far south after that. So it may not be too terrible, except for a 6, 12 hour period. And then how much snow out of that system? Limited amounts. I'd say it's probably a two to five inch type snow band on the northern sections of it. So there you go. That's uh, pretty much a rundown. Hopefully you got the gist of what's going on here. We have the precipitation winding down this morning. Temperatures slowly warming, vastly improving road conditions by 10 a.m. to noon in the southern half of lower Michigan. So if you can wait till afternoon to go somewhere, you should be A-OK. -okay. Thursday's a dry day. That's New Year's Eve day. And then New Year's Day, the next mixed bag of precipitation moves in. And there will be a fairly significant 6 to 12 hour burst of freezing rain, not to probably ice storm levels, but definitely to dangerous travel, dangerous sidewalks, and how much of it will melt off. <laughs> Smith Ed wants to turn this into a dating site. Any single women out there want to cuddle due to the snowing outside? Hey, hey, okay. Uh, <laughs> good try, Smith Ed. Check them out, folks. Let me know how it goes. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. I'm going to update you later on this afternoon when the new information comes in about that next storm. I'm also going to be writing a post. My preliminary headline is first two weeks of January have dark red showing up on the temperature map in Michigan. In other words, we're not seeing really any true cold air. Not to say that it won't be wintry in the 30s, but we also have some 40s probably on the way. And dare I say, maybe a 50. Um, so I'll have an update for you on that. That's, that's probably my next task here after I go grab a couple of scrambled eggs up in the kitchen. Take care, thanks for joining me. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa.